self-development, how to avoid falling off. We've all been guilty of this. You start gym, you start training for a day or two, and then you fall off. You end up reading, reading books and that, yeah, I'm reading, then you fall off. You end up doing something and then you stop on that. We're all guilty of this. I'm here to break down exactly how to stay focused, how to stay on, on track and get the gains that you're looking for in whatever subject of life that is, man. I'm breaking it down for you, man. Come on, come on, come on. Now, before we get started, you already know what to do, man. Make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to hit the red subscribe button as well and join the family. Channel's all about self-development and becoming the best you. And make sure to comment down below. Let me know where you get to the video. Now, let's talk about it, man. How to stop yourself from falling off. Like, this is something that, again, everyone is guilty of. We've all done it at some stage in our life and that. But I'm here to, I'm about to give you the formula. The formula to not do this again. You understand that now? Now, I've already spoke about this on my Patreon. Step by step and I'm breaking it right down to what exactly to do, what exactly to write down, what to say exactly. So if you want to join the Patreon group where I go to more, more specific details on to break this stuff down and that, hit the link in the description. Let's talk about it. Now, the first thing you have to understand then that before you do anything and that, yeah, the biggest mistake people make and that, they try to do multiple things at the same time. Oh, I'm going to start working out. Oh, if people get excited, you know, oh, I'm going to start work, going to the gym. I'm going to start reading. I'm going to start running. I'm going to start doing this. Look, if you do multiple things at the same time, you're less likely to be consistent in them. Because you're giving 5% here, 1% there, 20% here, 10 there. It's not going to work out, especially if it's something new. When you're creating a new habit, it takes time to formulate it for it to become an actual habit and become a lifestyle. They say it takes 21 days to create a habit and 90 days to create a lifestyle. So the more things you try to do that are new, to your mind, your, your conscious and subconscious mind and that, then less likely you are to do all of them. If you try five new things, you're probably going to fail at all five new things. But if you focus on one thing, you master it, it becomes part of your day-to-day -day routine, then you can add the next one. See, that's the first and biggest mistake that people make in that. You understand that? So focus on one thing. If it's working out, focus on going to the gym and going home. Make sure you do that for 30 days, at least minimum of 30 days, but before you even think about adding a new habit, get comfortable, get used to that. First and foremost, now another thing you need to remember here is ask yourself, why am I doing this? Because a lot of people, they stop and stop because they have a weak purpose. People go to the gym just for the females. They go to the gym just to show off for their friends and to, to look better than the next man, look to look better than the friend. That's a weak purpose. So automatically, at some stage, you'll fall off because the purpose is weak. If the purpose is strong, it's a lofty, uh, 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 it's a big, big purpose, like becoming the best version of yourself, to, to inspire your friends, family members, to uh, work on your physical and mental health, to, you understand that now, these big, big, big lofty things, that will carry you to the gym. You feel what I'm saying to you? But if it's just for the, for other people, then that's a weak purpose and you will stop. So that's the second point is make sure you have a strong purpose of why you are doing it. In fact, it's even better to write that down. You understand? Now, why else are you falling off your journey? Another big, big thing you need to remember is why people fall off their journey is that they not, not only are they in it for the wrong reasons, but at the same time, then doing it just because like they feel like it's a cool thing to do you're hopping on the trend and that that's not actually you you understand than that like it's not you you're doing something that's popular oh yeah everyone is uh, going to the gym in the summertime hey, let me go to the gym oh yeah everyone is doing this so you, you're following the trend it's not genuinely you, you it doesn't mean anything to you you understand what i'm saying to you so don't follow the crowd bro like a lot of people don't go gym with their friend when their friend don't go gym they don't go gym either like which makes no sense at all are you training for your friend or who are you training for and that you understand than that you know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. And you have to remember, yeah, a lot of people lack confidence in themselves and that. People don't want to go to the gym because they're scared of how they're perceived. People don't want to make a YouTube video because they're scared they're going to get low views or that they're, you know what I'm saying to you, that they're not going to get liked and that. People don't want to change their passion or purpose because their mom, dad, or whatever siblings are going to say something about them. So the confidence issue is, an, is another big aspect and that, why people do it. People don't want to read books and that because they feel like, oh, people are going to think I'm a nerd or people don't want to do yoga because they, want to, they don't people, want people to stare at them like, you know that it's like a self-doubt and that more than anything you know it's not really about what they think about you it's what you think about yourself and that so it's a confidence issue you know they don't people don't want to stand out in the sense that people are looking at them but are you here to fit in or are you here to stand out man that's what you have to decide understand so falling off 
I understand it's possible. We, we all have done it. But when you set your mind on something, like you have to remember, yeah, the biggest reason why people fall in off, actually, I should have mentioned that at the start, yeah, is people want short term gains. The reason people go to the gym and then stop, why? Because they want a good body next week. They're not, they're not willing to train for five years, bro. They want to get a good body next week or next month. So they train So they train for a week or one month. Look at their body like, what's going on here? Oh, no progress. Let me, let me forget that. But you want, the thing is though, like you want something, but you're not willing to do what it takes to get there. You want a great physique and that looks, you know what I'm saying to you? Aesthetic physique and that. Good for, are you willing to go to the gym an hour a day for six times a week? Are you willing to, to prepare your food, cooking in the kitchen for one, two hours, standing up, cooking food? No, you're not willing to do that. So no, you will not get the results. And you, and you should not get the results either. You understand? Same for anything else. You want to be a footballer? Okay, cool. You want to be a footballer? That's, a, that's great. That, that, that's, that's cute. Okay, are you willing to train two, three hours of the day? No. You're not willing to do that? So no, you should not get the results. And why, why should you get the results if you're not putting in the work? You want to be this, then you've got, you've got to put this amount of effort in. You know, people want to put a little effort in and then get big rewards in that. You know, it doesn't work like that, bro. It does not work like that. You only see the physique. You don't see the hard work. You understand? So ask yourself, what do you want to be? And then ask yourself, are you willing to do what it takes? Are you willing to do what it takes? Because everything takes time, bro. Great body. You want to get a YouTube channel. You want to chase your passion and purpose. You want to be a rapper. It all takes time. But people ain't got time. People ain't got time to put in towards it. You understand? So this is a big, big thing that's making you fall off your journey, stopping and starting. Like, bro, if you stop and start, you have no momentum. People think they can do something two, three times and then that's it, then Hollywood next week. It doesn't work like that, bro. Everything is a process. Everything is a step-by-step -step guide in that. The longer, the more energy and time you put into something, the more likely you are to succeed. As Robert Greene says in his book, Mastery, it takes 10,000 hours to be a master at something. Now, how many hours have you put in? You haven't even put 10 hours in or 100 hours in. Don't even think about mastery. Don't even think about earning from your passion or anything like that. You haven't even put 10K hours in. You understand? So you have to love it, bro. That's why you have to love the process, bro. Because if you don't love the process, you're not going to do it long enough to get the results and that. You feel me? Falling off, it's not acceptable. You know what I'm saying? If it's something that you really want, you'll go to the end of time to get it. You have to have a lifetime agreement, like I said in my previous video. Like, when I go to the gym, it's a lifetime commitment, bro. I'm in a gym where you're 70, I'm already picturing myself 70 years old in the gym. Great physique, looking healthy. You know, lifetime commitment. Read it, lifetime commitment. Everything I do is a lifetime commitment. It's not just like, oh, huh, I'm going to go to the gym quickly, so for the summertime, I can flex on that. Nah, 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 nah. We don't do that around here. We just do longevity. We're in it for longevity. If it's not longevity, I'm not part of it. I don't want to, I don't want to start. I'm not even going to begin. Anything I do, I do it for longevity. Now, what you have to remember with falling off is that there's so many distractions. As you're aware, we've got social media, we've got your friends, family, duties, you got work, school, you got flipping. I don't know what you got going on, bro, but it's 100 distractions. But can you allocate time every single day to do a specific task? That's what it takes. Can you dedicate an hour to the gym a day? If you can do that, bro, don't worry about your physique. You're going to be straight, bro. You're going to be straight. Can you dedicate, you know, uh, half an hour on reading books and that? Don't, your mind is going to expand. But, oh, no, today, uh, I did it today, but uh, tomorrow I couldn't do it because I have to drop my auntie down the road. And, uh, yeah, bro, everyone has duties. Everyone has things. Everyone, life happens to everyone, bro. You understand that? But if you got an excuse and, oh, I couldn't do it today, I was tired. I couldn't do it today. I had, bro, like, come on, man. You're not serious, man. You're not ready. You're not ready to wake up and that. You're not ready to, to, to be the best version of you, bro. You're still in an elementary stage in that, man. You're still in primary school. Your mind hasn't, your, your mind hasn't leveled up yet. You understand that? Now? So allocate time every single day. 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. I'm going to the gym. So, like 4 p.m. to 4.30 a.m. I'm flipping, I'm reading books and that, for example. Because it's funny that when you go to work or school, they tell you exactly what time to come in. Make sure you're in at 8 o'clock. That's when you start. You finish at 4 p.m. Your break time is this time to that time. But when it comes to your spare time, what do you do? You do whatever you feel like. Oh, I'll wake up whenever I want. I'll eat whenever I want. I'll do whatever I feel. You see? There's a big, big difference in that. You understand in that? You're doing it for the next man, your boss or whatever, but you can't do it for yourself and that. That's why a lot of people are struggling and falling off in that. You feel me? Now, I don't know if it made the video too long for the part two. We want to see something similar to this. Just comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. 
make sure to check out the discord group make sure to check out the patreon man in the patreon group i'm telling you exactly what to do i'm breaking it down even more than this video and that so make sure to hit the link in the description and join the patreon and definitely like comment subscribe man come on